We're here, we're in my new house, yay! I cannot wait to show you. I don't know why I'm snapping. We have made it to my new house. We are officially the homeowners of this house and I'm so excited to share it with you. Things are starting to happen tomorrow. Like, let's back up a little bit. First off, let me say, if I start like glistening, I just decided to use a prettier word for sweating. But uh, yeah, our AC downstairs is not working properly so we have someone coming this week to fix it. So it's a little hot in here. Okay, I'm definitely starting to sweat. It is hot in this house. Florida, summer time. Woo, it's hot. All of our furniture is in storage right now. We did camp out over here um, throughout the weekend, but tomorrow everything is kind of getting started with the floors. I wanted to share a little empty house tour before things start to change and kind of document the beginning stages of this house. We are so excited to be here. If you didn't know, this house we bought in my hometown, which is Deland, Florida. It's about 45 minutes north of um, Orlando where we were living. And we, my husband and I have lived in Orlando together all of my adult life, but I did grow up here in Deland. So we made the move back to Deland. Pretty much all of my family is here in Deland and um, we just wanted to be closer to family and kind of have a different vibe for this like next season of our life. We are right in the downtown Deland area. If you've never heard of Deland, it's like one of those cute little Hallmark movie towns. And it wasn't that way when I was growing up. I mean, it was a cute town, but it's a lot different now. They have like this really adorable downtown that um, has all these little shops and restaurants and they've really revived it and so to live in a house in the historic district of downtown Deland is super exciting. We are a 10 minute walk, two minute car drive to downtown and um, yeah, so the house that we are in, I'm in right now, is over a hundred years old. It was built in 1913 and um, it's only had a couple owners. So it's really cool that it's been, you know, it's just, I think it was either two or three owners in the whole time um, that it's existed here. So we're really excited to be able to be one of the owners of this house and really like bring it back to life. It needs some love and we are the ones here. We are ready to give it some love. You know I love home decor and decorating and all of that and this house just excites me so much. I wanna take you on a little tour, so come along. And we're just gonna go through this because tomorrow morning, these floors are getting done. So, this is the foyer. It's not really a foyer, it's just kind of, you walk in the front door. Let me show you the front door. So this is where you walk in at, and all of these floors throughout the entire house are the original 108 year old floors. They're either called heart of pine or heart pine. One or the other, I guess they're like super rare to have these days. Like you only find them in older homes. I don't know, that's just what I've been told. So we want to obviously get these babies back up, bring them back to life. They have seen better days for sure. So tomorrow we have someone coming in and they are going to refinish all of the hardwood floors downstairs and upstairs. There's no carpet in here, so all hardwood flooring except for the bathrooms and the kitchen, which I'm actually still hoping there's some hardwood flooring underneath the kitchen floor, but I'll show you that in a second. So once you walk in, don't mind my tripod leg, you can go to the left or to the right or you can go straight. So let's go left first. In here, I have brought in a couple of my indoor plants just to like bring some life in this house and um, I needed somewhere to put them. So this is what we are going to call the den or the Hallmark viewing room because I love Hallmark movies and I wanna watch a Hallmark movie with the fire going at Christmas time and a Christmas tree. But this is just like a little extra room. As you can see, it has these beautiful original hardwood floors. I was really hoping this was a wood burning fireplace. It's not, it's gas, but I'm still super excited to have a fireplace nonetheless. This house has two fireplaces, so I'm really excited about that because I haven't had a fireplace. I've only had a fireplace in one house I've lived in as an adult, and it was like such a short lived place. 
short, I lived there for such a short amount of time, so I'm so excited to have a fireplace. My husband wants to call this room the puzzle room because at the beginning of the pandemic, he realized, or he started, doing puzzles and then he realized he's obsessed with doing puzzles. So this room is kind of going to be a puzzle room, extra TV room, library, den, I don't know, all those things. I love the fact that it has four windows in here. I love the built-in bookcases. There's so many um, just like charming details with this house that just when we first saw this house, we were obsessed with it. Uh, another really cool thing about this house is it has a basement. If you are from like northern states, I think you're pretty familiar with basements, but here in Florida, it is rare to have a basement. Um, so the fact that this house does have a basement is really cool. The basement is actually in this room. This is the door that leads to it. When we first saw this house, we were like, oh my gosh, it has a basement, how creepy. We opened this room like, Okay, so right now, and we're always gonna kind of use that as storage, but look at this. <gasps> I know, it's so not exciting if you're used to having a basement. This is a relatively tiny basement. Right now we have all the like, little bits and bobs that's not in storage um, that we've just moved down into here, but there's this all this little area that like I'll be able to do stuff with, and I don't know, like fix up all this beadboard and paint it, and like, it, there's just so much to work with, just even as a storage. So you walk down these stairs. What's crazy is this has this extra thing of stairs. These were stairs. And on the other side of this is where the refrigerator is now. We are going to find out more about the history of this house, which we're really excited to learn about. Isn't that crazy though, these stairs? Like what all happened here? Then you have these other stairs that take you down to the rest of the basement it's so crazy like this table was there who knows how old this table is and this was already there we're gonna clean this all up obviously like i said be a cool like storage area we have to like clean all this up and then there's this whole little area right here isn't that cool let's continue on one thing i do know about this house is um, the family that I was in for a really long time, there's a, a famous college that is in Deland called Stetson University. And I guess it's famous, I don't know. I, I know a lot of people know about it, but it's like a smaller college. <gasps> I cut myself, oh. I'm okay, I'm okay. Anyway, so he was a professor there at Stetson University and um, he lived here with his family for a really long time. My husband and I just found his thesis, like down in the basement from 1950. Isn't that insane? So crazy. These built-in bookcases, it, oh, so pretty, right? I am just so in love. Okay, so moving on this way. That I just put up there so it wouldn't get messed up. For That's for Magnolia's room. It's not staying there, but it's gonna live there right now. So then when you walk into the right, this looks out to the front porch and the street, and it's a big room, and it's got another fireplace another gas fireplace, and then it has this funky mirror. Honestly, this is not gonna stay, um, but it is interesting for sure. Uh, again, I just added some of my plants and a candle to make it, you know, feel a little homey while we were here for the weekend. The other really cool thing is this piano was here when we came and toured the house, and we asked if it could stay. We just thought it'd be fun to have it and kind of restore it. It's not tuned or anything, but we definitely want to eventually get it restored or change out the keys and put in like a keyboard there and just keep the look of the little baby grand piano, maybe paint it a cool color, I don't know, something. But what I see this room being is our dining room. I think it'll be really fun to have this piano in. I think I'm going to move it, right now it's in that corner. I think I'm gonna move it to this corner. I have to play around with it and see. And I think I'm going to make this corner like an extra little seating dining area. So if we have, since all my family lives here, I would love to be able to finally host like a holiday dinner here. I never got to do that living in Orlando since everyone was in Deland. We would always just come to Deland. So now I can have my family over. As you can see, there's this red room. Let's head there. The lighting is starting to get bad because the sun's going down. 
but this is my last chance to kind of film this before they come in tomorrow to start restoring the floors restoring refinishing so this is the red room right now this house has a lot of different paint colors and at first i wanted to paint the whole house white and kind of start fresh but the more i've been in the house the more i kind of like am loving not this red this red is a little bit too much for me but in the dining room and in the den those like green and blues i think i kind of want to incorporate into the design of this house in my last house everything was gray and way neutral and this house i want to have some fun with it i want to like dive into some different colors and more patterns and just do something a lot more eclectic this is an old home with so much history that i feel like it deserves to have some like energy and vibes to it you know what i'm saying and also i think it will challenge me i want to take some risks with this house design wise and i think this will be like a lot of fun to really try things out especially with paint you can always change the paint i found some people on um uh, instagram through pinterest actually and they've been so inspiring to me i feel like all right this is the house that i want to dive in and kind of just take some design risk you know this room has another really beautiful built-in and we are going to make this room like our family room where we have the couch and the tea i mean we're gonna have tvs in both this room and the den but this will be more i think this one will be used more because the kitchen is right here and tomorrow this wall that you see right here is going to be opened up this is the kitchen right here and my goal is to open it up all the way to where the built-in comes i don't want to lose that built-in i love it and it's just part of the charm of this house and that way you can see the kitchen so that is happening tomorrow the beginning phase of opening that wall up we are not doing it we are hiring a professional to do it because because my husband and i are just not like good at that stuff we're gonna pay the professionals to handle that so here's a little bit better view of the room from this is the dining room here's the piano and then you walk in and here is the family room this is the wall we're going to take down that opens to the kitchen and then we're going to have obviously you can see our temporary so fancy furniture and then this has just like this and it's not an actual fireplace however there is an outlet down there so eventually i think i want to take the whole thing out but in the meantime i think i'm going to kind of make it into a little faux fireplace and have some little little electric logs and like a little a screen there and it just be decorative and and decorate it that way this house we are very much going to be doing in phases so we're going to pick priorities the first priority was getting the floors refinished since it's easier to do that when there's no furniture in here so that was priority number one priority number two was opening up that wall so then everything else are going to be done in little phases and stages and all of that so this little fireplace situation fake fireplace faux fireplace i'm gonna work with it for a little bit okay so from this leads you to the carport area this car uh, this house doesn't really have a actual garage it has a little carport um we're gonna obviously take this lovely green carpet off we are sitting on almost an acre so back there is all our land and it's so awesome our dogs are going to be so happy so you walk from here like i said this wall is going out and then this is the kitchen area so this kitchen is not necessarily my taste but i think we're going to live with it for a little while we just redid my cabinets in my old house and not redid them we painted them white and changed our countertops to a white quartz and did a different backsplash and then i moved right back into a house with um dark cabinets here's the other side of that wall that leads to the family room my first big remodel of this house aside from the floors and opening in the wall is either going to be tackling this kitchen or the master bathroom which you will see it desperately needs it it is super tiny super old and it needs some major love i want you to let me know in the comments below which you would tackle first would you tackle the kitchen or would you tackle the master bath 
My husband's leaning more towards the bath. Me too, kind of, but I want to like spruce this kitchen up a little bit, probably paint the walls. As you can see, they're like, it's coming off more lime green in um, on camera, but it's definitely a, like, it's definitely green. But the, the overhead lights, there are these old Tiffany lights um, in here that I think is also casting more of that yellowy green. I love that the sink has this window. I've always wanted like a window looking out. And what's really cool is this is an old garage. We call it the carriage house. And we are going to eventually redo that and kind of make it a studio for my husband, a workout area. It's two stories and like a guest house. That's a project for us later down the road, but the fact that we have it is really cool and it's original to the house. And I just love, we're gonna fix up like the outside and fix up the landscaping obviously. And I love that I'll be able to be at the kitchen sink and have such a pretty view and you can see like that path leads you back to our property. And there's also another path on the other side. So it's really cool, really private. We're on a corner lot, so we're on a bare lot. For being downtown, we have a really good amount of land, so we're super excited about that. I am sweating so much. So remember when we were in the basement? On the other side of this was the stairs that led down to the basement. Isn't that crazy? Here is where we're taking the wall out over here is a laundry room that just has a bunch of our stuff in right now. But this room will end up being made into like a butler's pantry because there's no real pantry in here. So I'm going to put stuff here to kind of make this a big pantry slash laundry room combo. Last house, my laundry room was in the garage. So I'm super excited to have this. Plus it has a sink in here to do laundry or you know, like wash out stains, I don't know. But I'm excited about that, it's an old sink. But eventually, each room in this house is going to get a little makeover at some point. So I'm really excited to be able to like transform each room and I'm gonna share it and hopefully, obviously, I'm gonna be doing things on a budget like I always do, so that'll be exciting. Um, I wanna wallpaper some of these walls and I think I wanna try it and like paint this tile. I've watched a few videos about painting tile. If you have ever painted tile, let me know in the comments how did it go for you. Um, but yeah, I want to paint the tile in here and then in the little half bath, which I'm about to show you. So let's go to the half bath. I just love these little doors and all the doors have these old handles. I'm obsessed. I love the charm in the house. So this leads you right back to the front door. And then over here, is the teeniest, tiniest little bathroom there ever was. But it's a bathroom nonetheless. And I'm super excited to make this bathroom over. I'm gonna give this bathroom so much style, so much pizzazz. Um, gonna change out the whole thing. I mean, not really change it out, but I'm gonna decorate the whole thing. We're gonna paint all the walls. I'm gonna do wallpaper in here. I'm also gonna try and paint the tile in here, change out the fixtures, change out the mirror, totally do this little bathroom up. And then over here, I have no idea how old this wallpaper is, like what year. This looks like 80s wallpaper to me but it could have been way older than that, I don't know. But I'm going to obviously change this wallpaper out at some point, probably do something else fun right here and make this a little, like a bench in a little area when guests come over, when they have stuff that they want to put somewhere, have this be the place where they can, you know, leave their stuff, right? The house is five bedrooms, three and a half baths. So this is the half bath. And there's one bedroom downstairs, which is going to be the master bedroom. And it's one of the smaller bedrooms, but I want us to be on the first floor and um, we're gonna make it cute. We're gonna make it work. Don't mind this room is messy because we were partially living in here. Most of it's my husband's stuff. But as you walk in, this is the room and these floors, they had water damage a while ago, so this will be all fixed when they do the floors. And this is just crap, but 
This has a closet over here. So if you stand from the back of the room, that has this little additional room. I guess this used to be a little porch a long time ago. Well, we are going to actually make this whole part, this extra part, our closet. I don't wanna put up a full wall, but I think I'm going to do some type of divider, like a curtain divider or something, and be able to have it a little bit open. I'm going to put over here, there's more built-ins, and I'm going to put a little makeup vanity area right there where I can do my makeup, and then have the rest of it kind of be all of our closet stuff. The reason why we're gonna get rid of this closet is so that we can, ready for it, this master bathroom is far from a master bathroom. It's so cute though, it has these old windows in it and this really old little built-in medicine cabinet which I'm totally keeping. I love the charm, but it is tiny. There's a little tiny corner shower. This right here is the wall to that closet. So we're gonna take this wall out and then expand this bathroom somewhat. Seeing this, which would you do? Would you do the bathroom first or would you do the kitchen first? Honestly, I think it'll be less expensive to do the bathroom. However, it's still gonna be a, a pretty penny, but I think it'll be less expensive than doing the kitchen. Um, so I don't know, I'm torn which I wanna do first though, because obviously you'll see the kitchen, more people will see the kitchen than this bathroom, but this bathroom is tiny. However, we can make it work. We can totally make it work for a while. So that's our master bedroom. <laughs> Should we go upstairs? Should we go upstairs? Should we go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. So I accidentally lost the footage somehow going upstairs, but this is where you head upstairs. There's actually two ways to get upstairs. One is from the kitchen, one is from the main part of the entryway. And this is like the middle area where the both of the stairs lead to. We are also going to use this little area, that little nook right there, where you're going to let it be Alan Bear, our Labradoodles, little spot. This is the first bedroom when you come up the stairs to the right. It's a lovely purple and pink and blue. We are going to use this as our gym for now and I have big plans in mind for it, but this is how it looks to start. Now back to the official tour. When you come out of this room, then you have this little area. I'm gonna put something. And then you have a bathroom over here. And these bathrooms have been updated at some point. It has subway tile which it's just pretty classic um where's the light we're gonna update the light fixtures it has a little medicine cabinet here and another little built-in right here so cute so much charm in this house i can't even then you've got another room this is where we were sleeping for the weekend it has another juliet balcony right here and then a window. Here's the other little balcony. It's so cute. Oh my God, I can't. Then it has this really cool closet that is going to be my husband's voiceover studio. So we're going to soundproof this and it's gonna be perfect for that. If you didn't know, my husband is an actor and he works on the radio and he does voiceover work. So he needs a studio space like this where like, the sound can be really contained. And eventually we're gonna do that with the carriage house outside. But for now, to start, we're going to do that with this closet and then make this room our office space. Then you come back out and over here is going to be Lennon's room, my oldest daughter. And her room is freaking so cool. So she has probably the biggest bedroom in the house. Her room looks like this and she has a little balcony off of it. And this, this little balcony is so cute. So my grandma told me that this used to be called like your sleeping quarters or something like that. You can see 
our property and you can see the carriage house and it's super cute. We already told her like we're allowed to come up here whenever we want and sit up here, have a cup of coffee, enjoy it. Um, and she has to share it with her little sister. So that's the deal with her having the balcony. She has a little closet over there. She has another little closet in here that we're going to clean up and then this will be part of when they redo the floors. And then this is like a cool little hangout spot my daughter likes to call it but this is going to be where her and her little sister magnolia can play and read and just like chill as they get older and have some toys up here for magnolia this also leads over to the little balcony and then they kind of have a julia what no jack and jill a jack and jill bathroom kind of because this room will be magnolia's let me turn the light on so this bathroom will be the girls bathroom and again it has like the subway tile i do eventually want to change out the flooring and do a different vanity so they have some more space but in the meantime it'll work we're going to change out the lighting eventually but it has this cute little window again you can see the carriage house out there it's so cute and it'll totally work for the girls so this room will be magnolia's room so this house has a pretty big no it's not huge but a really cool attic space it's not cool yet we see the potential of it being really cool and the attic space is accessed through magnolia's room which isn't ideal but lennon really wanted to have the bedroom that so that her and magnolia can have the jack and jill bathroom or you know that share a bathroom and it just happens to have this attic space this way. This attic needs a makeover. It has old water damage from a long time ago, so we need to replace that drywall, but there's so much potential. You've got this little step, and then you've got this little area that you can do stuff with, and then it leads up to the attic up here. Old water damage everywhere. It needs to be reworked, but so hot up here but this is the huge attic fan which we're gonna get rid of because we don't need it and then we're going to eventually redo this whole area and make it like a playroom slash movie room and I think it'll be really cool but that is a long time in the future so for now it's just gonna be here <laughs> So I've showed you everywhere in this new house. I'm so excited to be able to share this whole like journey with this house and transforming it and really making it ours and decorating each space. Tomorrow, I'm so excited for the floors to start and the wall to start. It's time to turn off all the lights and go back to my mom's house, which is only 10 minutes away from here, which is crazy because normally it's an hour away from me so the fact that I am so so close to my mom is so exciting there's so many little lights here I want to walk out to the porch where there's a little bit of lighting left so I think I think I have an Amazon delivery that I need to bring in yes I do Ooh. I sure did sweat a lot during this little tour here's a little porch how cute will it be to put like a Christmas tree right here I already ordered rocking chairs and then a Christmas tree in the middle for Christmas time. I am excited. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun checking out the video. Hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Landscaping to come. So many exciting things. I'm really excited about it. Thank you again so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.